of the painting, there is a letter P that lets you into a very simple space that um, allows a big tree to grow. It is simple. And the door is wide open. The next door into that pardes, into that grove, is smaller. It is slightly closed. It is symbolized by the letter reish, r, and r stands for in uh, Hebrew for remes. Remes means a hint, an indication, an indication that things are not as simple as they seem. And there you can see that if you go through the door, you come into a space which has various gates which has various arches. And through those arches, from one to another, you would finally arrive to the two tablets of the law. Let's come out from that space, the more complicated space. And we see that the third door, the one that is indicated with the letter D, the Dalet, the D stands in Hebrew for drash. Drash means interpretation. There, the door is almost closed. You have really to push it hard. And when you come in, there is a labyrinth. There is a labyrinth. And if you come out from this labyrinth, there is another labyrinth. It is very difficult. And this is maybe already a, harsh, a much, much higher degree of learning. The last, the fourth door to this space is the letter Samach, S, which stands for Sod. Sod stands also as S for secret. This is the secret area. In this area, there is a book. And on that book, there is a flame. And this could represent the Kabbalah, which is the mystical reading of the Bible, which is supposed to be for every observant Jew a very risky business because one can discover such secrets that demand the sacrifice of life. But this fire can also make you think of the crematoria, of the crematoria which is symbolized here by a smokestack and the smoke that comes up from there. This is a very frightening area. And that door is, is barred, is barred. And I hope that it will never open again. So this is a complex painting which deserves some observation and some attention. And it is part of a series of such paradises that I have painted. And um, with that, I thank you very much for your attention.